On today's episode of Beer and Watches, we're going to be taking a look at five affordable watches that everybody should own, whether you're purchasing your first watch or whether you're an avid watch collector. Times are ticking, so let's get stuck in. Hi everyone, I'm Matt Johnson and welcome to my YouTube channel Beer and Watches where every Monday, Wednesday and Friday I bring you the very best in watch news, watch reviews and I always mix it with craft beer brews. And in particular my channel focuses on micro brand watches and affordable watches. That's watches you might not see in your everyday high street store and watches that, let's face it, people like you and me can afford. Now in today's episode I'm focusing on five affordable affordable watches that in my opinion everyone out there should have on their wrist and yes I'm putting my money where my mouth is because I own the watches in this episode that's right they're in my personal collection and I love them to bits now before we get into the watches if it's your first time here please do subscribe by hitting the subscribe button over there to the right of the screen or below this video if you're on your mobile device and while you're doing that hit the bell button because that's going to notify you like an alarm every single time I release a new video now I've rambled on enough so with Without further ado, let's take a look at these five affordable watches. Number one on our list is the Orient Bambino Generation 2. I absolutely love this watch. Now, the Orient Watchmaking Company is a Japanese watchmaking company that's been making watches since the 1950s. This particular one, the Orient Bambino 2, is, in my opinion, a classic beautiful elegant watch and a great example of Orient's watchmaking abilities. It comes in at a very very affordable $110 on Amazon. I'll put links in the description below this video to all of the watches in this episode. Now if you're not familiar with watches this one is what's called an automatic. So there are three types of watches or at least three that I'll discuss in this episode. There's the mechanical watch which doesn't need a bad and works by winding a spring and then as that spring is slowly released it moves the hands of the watch. There is an automatic watch which is the same as a mechanical watch but it has an added rotor and the rotor is a little half moon disc that swings with the movement of the wearer and that winds up the movement. Kind of like a pendulum on a grandfather clock. And the third kind of watch is, of course, a quartz watch. Originally released in 1974, when I was born, made popular in the 80s by Casio. Quartz watches don't have a movement inside. Instead, they run on a battery. The power goes through a quartz crystal, and that is what regulates the time. And we're going to, in this episode, look at automatic watches and quartz watches. Now, this is an automatic watch, meaning that it doesn't require a battery, so you never have to change the battery in this watch. However, automatic watches aren't quite as precise as quartz watches. So why would you have an automatic watch? Well, they're beautiful, uh, they don't have a battery, they run on the beating heart of the watch, the spring inside, which watch lovers find absolutely fascinating. You wind it up, watch it go, and it tells you the time. It's like magic. So just by wearing it and the movement of your wrist it is going to wind the motor inside which means that if you're wearing this daily you will never ever have to wind the movement how incredible is that now I have this one on my list as I say because it's $110 it's from Orient and Orient make all of their own movements in-house so they don't use pre-manufactured movements which is incredible in fact I would kind of put these guys up there with Seiko's in as far as reliability coolness and the fact that they make their own movements but they're a little bit cheaper than Seiko's which is always a great thing. This one has an HMS dial which stands for hours, minutes and seconds. It also has a date function at the three o'clock position so you're always going to know what date it is. It's got a leather band and a 316L stainless steel case. Add to that a mineral crystal, 30 meters or 100 feet of water resistance and a full one-year warranty and you've got a watch that I think should be on 
everybody's wrist and in everybody's collection. And let's be honest, that is an elegant watch right there and one that I'm sure you would be proud to wear. Now again, I'll put a link in the description below this video. This particular watch on Amazon right now comes in five different colorways. So that is up to you which one you choose. Now the second watch on my list today that's in my collection is this one. And this is a must have whether you're buying your first watch or you are a watch collector. This is the Timex Weekender. It's a unisex watch. It's got a diameter of 38 millimeters, which means that it's ideal for both male and female. Ordinarily, this comes on a, um, I think you can get it on a metal strap or a NATO canvas strap. However, I took the canvas strap off and I've added this beautiful rubber strap with white stitching that I got from Strapsco. And Strapsco is a company online that makes watch straps. So you just buy the watch strap to jazz up your watch. I'll put a link in the description below this video, not only to this watch on Amazon, but also to Straps Co. as well. Now you can get this watch on Amazon all day long. It comes in at about $40 US. By the way, all my pricing on this video is in US dollars. This is from the company Timex that had the saying, it takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Now originally, when these watches started being sold, they weren't sold in watch stores. No, 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 no. They were actually sold, get this, on newspaper stands. Yeah, you go to the newspaper stand, you pick up your newspaper, you pick up your pack of cigarettes, and you would pick up a Timex watch. That's because they were considered disposable watches. When the battery was done, you just throw it away and buy a new one. Now, I personally wouldn't throw this one away. I'd simply change the battery because this is a cool little watch. It's got a mineral crystal face. It's good to 30 meters or 100 feet of water resistance, and it comes with a battery that will last you, get this, for three years before you have to change the battery. How incredible is that? And also it has a really, really cool feature that I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see under the studio lights, but it's called Indie Glow. And if I press the crown here, the whole face lights up. And that's the Indie Glow feature that you can only find on Timexes. It really is incredible. Now, as far as I'm concerned, Timex Indie Glow should be an industry standard on all watch brands. But then again, that's just me. I think it's far superior to Loom, to be honest with you. That's why this is one of my favorite watches to wear in my collection. Now again, I'll put a link in the description below this video to where you can get this on Amazon and you'll find it in lots of different colorways, different dial colors, different strap colors, lots and lots and lots of choices on there for $40. You cannot go wrong with one of these watches. Get a Timex, you will not be sorry. All right, moving along, what is the third affordable watch on my list that everyone should own? Well, are you ready? It's a quartz watch and it's a Casio. Yep, it's a Casio G-Shock. If you are not familiar with this Japanese quartz horological beast, this is Casio's version of the Hummer. This thing, you can drop it off balconies, you can freeze it in ice, you can bury it in the garden, you can probably drive over it with your car, although I wouldn't recommend it, and it will keep going. It is shock resistant. It has 200 meters or 660 feet of actual water resistance. So if you're a diver, you could dive in this thing down to 660 feet. Now, if you're anything like me, you're probably going about three feet underwater maximum, looking at the pretty little fish, and then going back, putting on some sunscreen, and laying on the beach. Well, this watch, the G-Shock, will take it all. The list of things that this watch can do, well, it's a little bit long. So I've got that list right here, and I'm going to read it off the list, because quite frankly, I can't remember everything. So let's take a look. It's got a mineral crystal, a stopwatch that is good to one, one hundredth of a second, countdown alarm, it's got a daily alarm, an hourly alarm, Whew, this is a lot of stuff. It's got a 12 and 24 hour formats, it's got an auto calendar, it's good for a two year battery life, and it's good to an accuracy of plus or minus 15 seconds a month, which is amazing. That's going to be 
any automatic watch you're ever going to put on your wrist. Now it is a chunky monkey with a 46 millimeter diameter case, 14 millimeter case thickness and a 25 millimeter wide strap. But it is like the Swiss army knife of watches. So if you don't own a watch, I would definitely consider getting a Casio G-Shock. And even watch lovers are going to think you're cool if you've got this on your wrist. This particular Casio G-Shock you can get on Amazon right now for about 45 bucks US, which is incredible. Now I'm going to put the link to this specific G-Shock in the description below this video because other G-Shocks go anywhere from this price all the way up to a few hundred dollars. If you're just looking for an entry-level G-Shock watch that is going to last you forever, this will do it. Yes, in case you're wondering, this channel is called Beer and Watches. Now, you've seen a few watches, but you haven't seen me crack the beer yet. Now, before we do, on my wrist today, I'm wearing a Quartz watch. It's the Quartz Gallant watch. I got this from AliExpress. I will put a link in the description below this video to where you can get this at an incredible deal. I think it was like 24 bucks, which is mind-blowing. I haven't reviewed this watch on my channel yet, but it is coming up for review, so make sure you stay tuned and watch out for that review because it's pretty cool watch for the price. As for the beer I'm drinking today, this is from Innis and Gun. And this one, well, this is the original that started it all. Bourbon Barrel Scotch Ale. It comes in at 6.6%. Now, if you want to check out Innis and Gun and their eclectic line of beers, you can go to innisandgun.com. I'll put that link in the description below this video. Now, this particular one is the flagship ale that started it all for Innis and Gun back in 2003. And it spearheaded the barrel aging movement in Scotland. The bourbon barrel aging process puts unique flavors like vanilla and toffee into the beer. It actually infuses it into the beer's soul. Mmm. So I've talked enough. Let's crack it and let's give it a try. <coughs> Smells strong. It's definitely got a kind of burnt toffee kind of taste. Burnt toffee and bourbon, that's the best way I can describe it. Not my thing really, but that doesn't mean it's not good. If you like your ales, you like your stouts, you like some body to your beers, body to the beers, then this beer will be for you. So, Innocent Gun, I'm going to put that over here and probably not drink any more for the rest of the episode. Now, the fourth watch on my list, well, this one is a classic and it's not loved by everybody in the watch community. But those that do love it, well, they love it. The Vostok Amphibia. And this particular Vostok Amphibia that I have right here is the Scuba Dude. Named as such because it has the little Scuba Dude on the face. Now, if you were to go on Amazon and type in Vostok Amphibia, you will come up with a plethora of Vostok watches. Now, I'll put a link in the description again below this video to this particular one. However, the one that I'm putting a link to is not this exact watch, and there's a reason for that. Reason number one is the shipping on this exact watch. Well, I could only find it at like $25 for shipping, which is way too much. Secondly, the bezel on this particular watch is by direction but it has no clicks in it, so it's not very secure. And the link that I've put in the description below this video is to the watch or the version of this that is secure with clicks in the bezel. And the third reason is because the watch that I'm linking to in the description below this video still has the scuba dude on the front, still pretty much the same watch, but it is a few dollars cheaper. You're welcome. Now, the Vostok Amphibia, for those who know it, needs no introduction. This one is the watch that was made for the Russian military of defense. It's got 200 meters of water resistance, which is 660 feet. It's got a solid stainless steel case, and it's an automatic watch as well. And believe it or not, you're going to get all that for about $88 US, which is mind-blowing. Now, that doesn't mean to say it doesn't come with its own quirks because it does. But that's why everybody that loves this watch really loves it. It's got a self-winding automatic movement. It's got 31 joules in there. No, they're not joules. They're synthetic joules. 
just in case you're wondering. You're not going to get rich buying this $88 watch. That would be fun, wouldn't it? It also has a 31 hour power reserve, which means if fully wound, this will keep going without being worn for 31 hours. And it's got an anti-shock balance wheel and loomed dots and hands. Now, the weird thing about Vostok's is that when you screw out the crown, it kind of has a wobble to it. Many people believe it's because the watch wasn't made that great, but those in the know will tell you that the crown wobbles away from the pin that goes into the watch so that if the crown is banged, it won't bend the pin that goes into the watch. I can buy it. Now, Vostok lovers will tell you that if the world ever came to an end, there would only be two things left, and that would be cockroaches and Vostok watches. They are made to take a beating. Now, when I bought this watch, it came on a metal strap. However, I added the green NATO strap that you see here because I think it goes with the military look and really sets the uh, turquoise face off, gives it that military feel. If you go to the link that I'll leave in the description below this video, um, you'll be able to find this watch, but in a whole bunch of different colorways with different straps, different colored dials, things like that. So go check them out. Again, the link below this video will give you a great deal on Amazon. And if you want to look at other Vostoks, just go to Amazon and type in Vostok Amphibia. This is one that in my opinion should be in every serious watch collector's collection. So that's four out of our five affordable watches. So what does that leave? Well, it leaves us with a classic, a watch that has such a rich history in the horological community, a watch that you can't deny has its place in the watch bible. For every watch collector, in my opinion, it is the classic Casio F91W. And if you want to buy one, it's only going to cost you about $15 on Amazon. I mean, what a bargain. And it really is a bargain when you consider the features that are packed into this little beauty. They are way too many for me to remember. So, cha-ching! I've got my cheat notes. It has a 33 millimeter case, eight millimeters thick. So it's a unisex watch that's gonna wear nice and slim and light and small on the wrist. It's got a mineral glass. It's got five ATMs, 50 meters or 165 feet of water resistance. Now here's all the technical stuff. It's got a daily alarm, one one hundredth of a second stopwatch, night light, that's debatable. It's got that little green light that comes in from the side that barely illuminates the whole screen. Yeah, I mean, it does the job, but it's hardly a night light. It's good to plus or minus 30 seconds a month because it's a quartz. I mean, quartz are great and very accurate on time. It's got net time, split time, first and second place time. So if you want to have a running race with a friend, you can do it and you can time both of you on your Casio. It's got a day date feature and the battery in this is probably going to last you for about two to three years. So it is a beauty. 15 bucks well spent of anybody's money. Now I included this in one of my episodes called Best Casio Watches Under 20 Bucks. I think that's what it was called. And I'll put a link to that video in the description below this video. One of my subscribers reached out to me after doing that video and told me about another Casio watch that looks pretty much the same and has all the same features, but has a much better light. And that Casio is the Casio Illuminator. Pretty much the same as this one, but the backlight in it, well, let's just put it this way. Stick it on top of a rotating tree on Flamborough Head in England and that thing will warn off ships. So if you want this watch, but with that backlight, you want to pick up that Casio, the F105W. I'll put a link to that Casio too in the description below this video. Well, we've come to the end of the video, everybody. And if you're still here, congratulations on sticking around and thank you for boosting my watch hours now by the way did anybody notice my youtube channel on the tv behind me pretty cool huh and that brings me to a good point if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe i'd love you to be a part of my beer and watches family and also please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video those thumbs up mean the world to me and they help me rank on youtube finally don't forget to hit the bell button and that will notify you every time i release a new video which is every monday wednesday and friday but also it's important because i do a lot of watch giveaways on my channel probably more than any other channel so if you want to be into 
win those watch giveaways, they're only for my subscribers. So make sure you subscribe and then hit the bell button and you'll be notified the second, the millisecond that those contests start. You could win yourself a watch. So once again, thanks for all your support, everybody. Thanks for checking out my channel and thanks for checking out this video. I sincerely hope that my five affordable watch picks that I personally own end up on your wrist too because these five watches are great timepieces. Take my word for it. Now guys, before you go, if you enjoyed this video, then check out that one. I think you'll enjoy that one too. And also click on the Beer and Watchers logo right there to subscribe. It's kind of a shortcut. Take care. We'll see you again on Friday and bye for now.